what is going on YouTube? Uh, it's GZTV, uh, back with another video, and this is the part two to the pink tape. Um, I'm doing these subsequently, so I just recorded the part one. We're here with part two. Uh, part one, there was a couple experimental aspects. You know, it had, had like this whole lot of red sound, a lot of interpolations. But we have part two ready to go. We have ten more tracks. We have like three features on the last ten tracks and like three bonus tracks. So, yeah, um, let's just get straight into the music. I don't think I need a full-on intro for this. Let's go. All right, here we go. Track 17. Let's continue the pink tape journey with CS. This is apparently like a system of a down cover. Let's go. All right. What other artist is doing this? I'm sorry, no one is doing this. I don't care. Ugh. Oh, I've heard this song. Okay. I fucking love this dude, hell yeah. I'm not even glazing, he's a fucking goat for this. Dude, I fucking love you, Uzi, holy shit. God damn, holy fuck. Nothing but vibes, man, hell yeah. Okay, man, CS, what, what a fucking start. I mean, a system of a down interpolation. Did you expect Uzi to do that? I didn't. I mean, I knew there might have been some rock elements on the album, but... Not this legendary. I mean, this is awesome. This is going to be something that everyone can kind of come together and admire Uzi for doing. I don't know. I think we can just move on to the next song. Let's go. The next song is Werewolf with Bring Me the Bring Me the World. I think it's like a heavy metal band singer or something like that. Someone told me they've never heard some shit like this. So, oh my god. Oh, this was in the trailer. Oh my god. Who the fuck possessed Uzi in the studio? What is happening? Yeah! Oh, yes! <laughs> Uzi, you're fucking insane. I gotta listen to more rock music, bro. If you wanna see that on the channel, let me know, dude. This shit's hard. Dude, Uzi's the fucking best. He's the best to ever fucking do this music shit. Dude, I had to take a fucking lap. Are you joking? God damn, Uzi. Uzi, oh my god. It's gonna be hard to beat this for album of the year. It really is. I'm not even joking. Travis Scott will not make a better album than this. He's not going to. Ugh. I know Uzi did close to nothing on that track. I get it. But the fact that he would even include a song like that, the fact he would uh, bring back the horizon, is that his name? The band, um, the fact that he would put him on his project, it says something. You know, interpolating Chop Suey, it says a lot of shit about him. Like, you know, in these three years, he's been inspired. I, I don't know. You guys can say they're trash just because he's trying to go in a different direction, but I don't know, man. Let's move on. Up next, we have Pluto to Mars. A lot of people hype this one up, too. Uh, oh, my God. Uh, this is like some of the best Uzi flows. Like, what is this? This is. Oh, this fucking beat! Oh my fucking god! Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. I'm just vibing to this shit. My god. Uh. Yeah. Yes, sir. Ah, uh, yeah. The sense, bro. It's ridiculous. Whoa. Oh my god. I'm so excited for the next song. What the? Oh, that was the glass of water. I thought someone, like, fucking... I don't know. Whew. This is, like, some really different Uzi. Like, these first three tracks, I feel like it was meant to be. You know, you listen to You Wanna Rock, like, Just Wanna Rock or whatever. I forget what the fucking song name is, even. And then you get to the next, like, part of the album, and it's, like, completely different than what he's ever dropped. I think that's what it's meant to be, I guess. I I don't know. It's a completely different sound. None of these, like, first three tracks we've listened to for the part two video, like that section. It's almost like I did that. I mean, I did it unintentionally, but it's perfect. So, let's move on, man. I will dread editing this tomorrow, by the way, but patience with Don Tolliver. Hopefully Don Tolliver doesn't ruin this, man. I'm sorry. I love Don Tolliver. But after Life of a Don came out, he just... Like, I don't know what the hell Cactus Jack was doing. I, I don't know. This beat, though? Let's listen. What the fuck? Man, chill. Okay, Don. Some backing vocals. 
All of these fucking tracks are like four and a half minutes long though. Is that all Don Tolliver does or does he have a part here? Okay, some like harmonizing from Don Tolliver. I don't mind that at all actually. Ooh. That's like his fucking 902 and 0 here. Holy shit. I don't really have anything to say. There's not like anything new on the track. I don't know why it's four minutes long, but okay. Okay. All right, man. I mean, what bad songs are on here? Again, like I'm, I'm listening to this and on first listen, there are... Nakamura's not that good, okay? We can give that a miss, you know, if we want to like give the haters a benefit of the doubt. Like Nakamura and... and a are the only songs that are like I don't know if I'll listen to them again. Obviously, Nakamura like the ode was really cool, but yeah. And we're 20 tracks in, by the way. That would make this album like a nine out of ten. So yeah, let's let's get to the next song, man. The next song is Days Come and Go. Let's go. Oh, he's got to stop doing this, bro. Okay. Like on an Uzi track, who would expect drums like this? This is wild. Oh my god, this is amazing. What the hell? Still have under, I mean, like a little under three minutes left. Jesus. Ugh. This is like some shit so Fago should have did. Like a, a beat like this. When the, man, when the beat first dropped, it's like... That was so fire. He's really spitting some real shit on here, though. Who about that? This beat is so fucking good. Holy shit. Why are all the last like seven so like ten songs fucking four plus minutes long? I didn't do this on purpose. Like I I didn't look past one rock and see oh shit all the songs are four minutes. I mean I, I mean it's it's gonna be another like it's gonna be a long ass video. I guess the last few tracks are gonna be shorter. I don't know. Let's just move on, man. I don't have the time for this, bro. <laughs> okay, so we got the next track. Um, we have rehab. Okay, let's go. Hmm. Okay. Oh my god, what is happening? Ooh. Okay. The production is insane. I I'm sorry. That little loop with the woo That is fucking awesome. Mm. Okay. These tracks are just too long, man. I don't know. I'm just gonna let this song play out, man. I don't know. I might even go get a damn drink of water. I don't know. Oh, okay, the end was on the trailer as well. Um, let's see. Um, uh, Rehab was good, okay? Like, it's a good song, but it's just, why is that four minutes? I'm not gonna say it's a bad song. It kind of has the same problem that, um, Patience has in a way. I don't know. It's still not a bad song. I think we can just move on. So, the end has Baby Metal on it. I'm not really sure. They're like a rock band. I don't know. This was on the, uh, this was on the, uh... It's on the uh, trailer. Let's go. Oof. Oh, yeah. Okay, this is like the fight scenes. Oh, my God. How did he make that sound? This is like the perfect intro for this fucking thing. What the hell? It just sounds like a theme song for an anime. Like, it's not even a song for real. Like, his song. What the fuck? Oh, yeah. I forgot about this little excerpt. Oh, my God. What is happening? What would even go into, like, producing a song like this? This is like some, like, ADHD shit, bro. Ridi like, ridiculous. What is happening? Was that not, like, the best way to end an album, though? Like, this just, like, epic fucking, like, compilation of some of the sounds he's been trying? I don't know. That's what I kind of, uh, got from that. <sighs> what do I even say about a track like that? There's no words for that, like... I, I feel like I just listened to a bunch of anime theme songs, like, smashed into one. And here we have The End with Baby Metal. Uh, we have three bonus tracks. I guess I'll listen to them. I don't know. They're probably not going to be very cohesive with the album. That's kind of the vibe I'm getting off of these, so let's go. Bonus track one of three. We have Zoom. Let's go. Wheezy? Uh, Wheezy and Uzi? Huh? I don't know why, but I think Drake would do good on this song. Okay, I like this. Yeah. Okay. Okay, nice. So the, all the bonus tracks are pretty much like 
what I'm getting from this is all the bonus tracks are pretty much like heavily, heavily leaked, like out there, re unreleased Uzi songs, and he's just throwing them at the end of the album as a bonus. I mean, that's like perfect. That's kind of like what the premise of a bonus track is, and I don't, I don't mind it. So let's move on. So the second of three bonus tracks is, of course, yeah, we've heard this. He's releasing all the damn music. Like he's not holding back here. All the snippets were here, you know. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, I'm definitely gonna be mobbing to this shit. Yeah. This would go hard in concert. It really would. Who would have known that, like, moaning on a song like this would be, like, hard for some reason? I don't know, dude. Alright, man. We got this song and one more. I don't really have much to say about this. The song has been out in the public for quite some time, so I would say we can just get into the last track and then do the outro. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna get back on stream here in a little bit for an hour or so. So yeah, the next track, the final track, the final bonus track as well is Sade. Let's go. Regulated. Okay. It's got that same tempo that like uh, Bigger Than Life had on EA. You know that type shit. You smell like Bia? Why would you admit that? What? I'm not gonna lie, it's probably one of the worst songs on the album, but it's not like a bad song. It's chill, I guess. I don't know. Holy shit, I'm not gonna lie. Um, that song almost put me to fucking sleep, and I still have a stream to tend to. I don't have anything to say about it. It's so boring. Uh, let's get to the outro. I'm gonna improv the fuck out of this, so get ready. Welcome to my improv outro. This is pretty much like the review segment of the album. We're not going to have that in part one, obviously, because we didn't listen to the entire album yet. But this is my chance to kind of look back, maybe talk about some standout tracks. Uzi dropped one of the craziest first listens I've ever had in my life. I mean, this is probably one of the best albums I've listened to of the decade off of first listen. Again, you're going to watch this video and like haters are going to be like, oh, he's just fucking gassing it. He's gassing it. No, motherfucker. This album is good. Like, I don't, like, do I need any more listens to know that this album's good? Do I need this album to grow on me? You say that about all sorts of fucking albums. But this one, I knew right away what the vibes were. And if you watch the Pink Tape trailer, it gives you everything you need going into this album. All the vibes he's going to tap into. Obviously, some, like, unfor like some of these, like, forgotten, unreleased tracks were included, which was such a dope touch. But, man, like, you knew that you were getting, we were getting, like, this anime-themed music and, and the, the end. I knew a song like that was going to be on the album. I mean, obviously, when I was watching the trailer, I didn't think it was going to turn out like it did, but, man, um... You know, obviously the rock influences, like Werewolf, CS, um, just like Fire Alarm is just like such a different, I mean, he, he touches into like K-pop maybe? Some like weird pop music? I, I don't know what the hell that is. Sampling Shinsuke Nakamura on Nakamura. There's so many like really dope cultural moments. This album is for the culture. I mean, truthfully so. Um... Uzi, hopefully he is renowned as a damn legend by now with this, because if you weren't digging Uzi before, I mean, you're going to now. Like, this album, I don't even know what to say. This is easily album of the year. There is no other album that has dropped this year so far that comes close. This makes Young Thug's album look like a damn 6 9 album. Let's be real. I forgot about that damn album. I'm listening to this, and maybe it sucks that those three artists, you know, Gunna, Young Thug, and Uzi had to drop uh, sequentially, week by week, but, and you know, like steal each other's thunder, but still, man, I mean, what is there really to say about this? The inter interesting drums on like Mama I'm Sorry, Pluto to Mars, just so many interesting drum patterns. Obviously, Flood of the Face and Suicide Door started the, out the album so well. Um, X2, obviously, shout out to Ken Carson for producing that beat. Um, like, Spin Again's a cool little thing. Um, I don't know. Endless Fashion with all the interpolations. All Alone is obviously an iconic unreleased song. But yeah, and you know, all the, all the bonus tracks are, you know, the bonus tracks. That's, it's what a bonus track is supposed to be. All these, like, unreleased Uzi songs that have been circulating for years. But, um, yeah. 
I don't really have much to say about this album. It's a first listen. Don't expect me to have a 10 minute outro talking about this album because that's not going to happen. I gave you guys fucking four. Uh, and yeah, obviously you're going to be seeing this on Saturday. The first part is coming out on Friday. That's going to be the chunk of the album. That is going to be like 15 songs. And this one is 10 songs. That's how I decided to split it up. It's pretty much a double album. I mean, let's be honest. It is pretty much a double album. Because once you get to Just Wanna Rock, the vibe just fucking changes. And and that was probably done on purpose, given that Just Wanna Rock was the single. That's probably well done by Uzi's team. But uh, yeah, leave a like, comment, subscribe, GZTV covering all the biggest music releases. You know, this month, Ken Carson's dropping. Lucky's dropping. Maybe Yeet. Maybe Travis Scott. It's going to be an like a wild summer. Drake just announced his album. I don't know what to say. It's going to be insane. So... See you guys in the next one.